channel gang gang happy vlogmas day two guys we asked you guys what do you guys want to see for vlogmas and once again we got the famous kisses famous Saril video so if you click this video to know how to make the this Saril Keep it locked, stay tuned, because we're about to get into it. We're about to get into it. We're about to get into I it. I have all my ingredients right over here. Um, so I will give you guys a closer look of my ingredients because in order for you to make the best sorrel, you have to follow my video. You have to put in the ingredients. Very simple, few ingredients. Just make sure you got it. And you can make the best sorrel of your life. I'm talking Christmas dinner, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, birthday party, whatever you have for the holiday season, you can bring out your sorrel and serve it to your guests and they will be lit. Okay. So let's jump right into the video. So what I'm going to do is I have the water on the stove boiling. Once that is boiled, I'm going to throw in my ingredients. I'm going to throw in my fresh sorrel, my dried sorrel, my pimento seed, and my ginger that I beat to a pulp because I want all the flavors, the juices, and everything to go into my mixture. And then, once that's boiled, I let it sit overnight until I'm ready to mix it with all the liquor and things like that. So, very easy recipe, guys, that you can make anytime, anywhere. And just make sure you comment down below and say, Kisses, I made it. It's so tasty. I love you. Okay. Um, in tomorrow's video, we're actually going to tell you guys about the giveaway um, and the details of the giveaway so you want to stay tuned make sure this vlogmas you guys watch the entire video from start to finish because there's going to be some you know hidden gems inside each videos that you do not when i say do not you do not want to miss okay. so here are all my ingredients for my sorrel guys make sure you take notes everything that's in this video you need to have for your sorrel for it to be bomb for it to be the best sorrel you ever tasted period um so we're going to start with fresh sorrel i got this from my local west indian store you can get um yeah you should be able to get it from a west indian store near you i also get a pack of the dry ones i just feel like the flavor from the dry one is already infused and it's so good such a good combination with the fresh one so i get both follow the ingredients grace if you're seeing this talk to me nice <laughs> and then i get the jamaican ginger i don't just get any regular ginger i get the jamaican ginger the flavoring is different um you know it's it, it to me it's more you know like spicy so i get jamaican ginger also you need pimento seeds that's gonna give your sorrel a kick mark my words get your pimento seeds in there and then, you know, we have the brown sugar. You guys already know what I do with this <laughs> tenderizer here. And then after that is when we use Ray and Nephew. I put Stone's Ginger as well and Red Label, period. If it's not any of these ingredients, I don't want it. And that's on period. So stay tuned for this big bad recipe, guys. If you've never made sorrel before, it's so simple. It's so easy. And if you follow this recipe step by step, you'll have the best sorrel for your Christmas dinner, your New Year's Eve, you know, to drink for the holidays, guys. Okay. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. So I have my big pot of water on, guys, like this pot. That's how big the pot is, okay? We ain't playing in these streets. Um, she said she's going to take some home, too, so we're making lots of sorrel. But anywho, um, water in the pot. We're going to bring it to a boil. And then we'll put everything in, so yeah. Okay, so the water has come to a full boil, so I can throw in my ingredients to get this thing rolling, okay? So I have my um fresh sorrel i'm gonna throw in the pot don't get burnt girl don't get burnt i'm also recording a tiktok guys like listen this this 
this life <laughs> with my um, dried sorrel. Look how good that looks. So good. Smells so good. Mm, smells so good. Okay, so the sorrel is all in. Now I'm going to add the beat up ginger. I call it the beat up ginger. So the ginger, we're gonna drop them in there, all of them, because we want the flavor. I pimento berries in the pot. Actually, I'm gonna put it in my hand so we can actually, you know, get the footage for y'all. <laughs> Jesus, 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 Jesus. Chill, 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 chill. Talk to me nice. Alright, guys. So this is the pimento berries. Look at that. Ooh. Fresh sorrels in, the dried sorrels in, the ginger is in, and the pimento seeds are in. So this is going to literally boil for about 30 minutes. So I'm actually going to set the timer because always set a timer when you're cooking, guys. Okay? Um, so I'm going to set it for 30 minutes so it can boil. <sighs> 30, 30. Get it in there. Look at the frick of the wrist. Hey, look at the frick of the wrist. Hey. <laughs> um, yeah, get this all around. I'm going to get a close-up for you guys. So don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I got you. Okay. Guys, it smells so good, y'all. So good. And I used a big ass pot this year because last year, um, when I made the sorrel, I think we finished the sorrel so quickly, um, and we didn't even share with anyone. Like, we literally drank it like almost every night over the holidays, and we were finished the sorrel before even New Year's. So. This year I said, let me make a good batch. So, you know, I can have my holiday drink on. Oh, oh, All right. Mmm, that looks so good and it smells even better. Okay. Stare, 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 stare. I'm always trying to dance, guys, and I can't dance. Story of my life. Okay, so this Both for about 35 minutes or so. Cool it, cool it down. Um, so yeah, everything is boiled up. So all I have to do is leave this covered for 24 hours. Let everything infuse all the juices, all the hibiscus, the ginger root, the pimento berries, everything. To make my concoction and that is the big bad big bad sorrow period period so yeah guys I'm just gonna let it um, cool down and sit and that's it so in the next clip I'll be uh, mixing the alcohol into it and doing all that stuff so stay tuned get your pen and paper write it down save this video like comment share subscribe period three days later so it's the next day the sorrel has been sitting it's been cooling it's been seeping it's been everything look at that look at that mixture guys look at the richness it rich real rich <laughs> look at that guys look at that jeez everything you know look at this mm-hmm Stir it up, stir it up, stir it up so we could get everything. Look at that. Look at the ginger. Yeah, that's what you want. You want the richness. Look at rich, rich. <laughs> She's here laughing at me, y'all. See? So now we just have to strain everything off. So we can start with the alcohol. The favorite part, okay? So let's get into it. Let's get into gang, it. Gang, 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 gang. It's time to mix the sorrel, guys. It's time for your favorite part of the video. It's putting the alcohol into the sorrel to make 
a big, 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 big bad Jamaican concoction, favorite holiday drink, Sarl. Okay. If you don't drink alcohol, um, I will tell you when to stop. <laughs> I will tell you at what step to stop if you don't drink alcohol. So stay tuned for your debut. Okay, so I'm going to strain the sorrel first. So you guys just saw in the previous clip, the sorrel overnight, cool, blended, so good. It smells so good already and stuff, is, there's not even no sugar or anything in it. What I'm going to put in the sorrel after I strain it will be my stone ginger wine. Still a secret recipe because some people think there's ginger in it, I don't need it. Nah, trust me, add this, you're late, okay? Then we have Ray and Nephew, 63% rum, got it from Jamaica, big bad Ray and Nephew. This is the only rum we use in our style. Okay. And then the original Ray and Nephew red label wine. We're not doing all that other wine that you guys are putting in them these days. Still the original recipe, red label wine, and that's on period. And um, brown sugar, cane sugar to sweeten for taste. Still not doing white sugar, still doing brown. Keep it original, guys. Keep it original. Come on. Come on. Okay. So, um, I'll probably have to use other containers because this is big. But I'm going to start with this for now. So, we're going to strain. Oh, this is the sheet to my booty. <laughs> I cook banana kisses here. Don't believe that. <laughs> And God don't said, believe the hype. So I'm just, ooh, 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 no, 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 no. I don't know why I'm wearing white, guys, for this step. Because if the soil gets on it, not a vibe. So I'm just, I'm using this milk jug <laughs> to scoop and then uh, strain. into the pot so we could start mixing this in. Mm -hmm. She was a nice helper. <laughs> Jeez. Look at all that. Look at that, baby. So this is after it strained, y'all. That's how it looks for me. And ting and ting. We're ready to mix it now a pretty big batch so uh, um not really no measurements y'all let your ancestors guide you you put enough sugar to sweeten to your teeth okay <laughs> i can't give an exact measurement because i don't know what the amount that you use I don't know the amount, sorry, that um, you made, things like that. So just sweeten to taste little by little. Don't forget, you can always add, but you can't remove. So don't dump a whole bag of sugar in there and it's so sweet because what are you going to do after that? Add water? No. <laughs> so you mix it. Look at the flick of the base. Hey, look at the flick of the base. Hey, look at the... <laughs> She's studying. <right. laughs> 
watching my madness, y'all. Listen, guys. I am an old soul, okay? I make things that your mom and grandma and aunties make, okay? I make everything that you see them make, okay? I'm an old soul. I'm a good as. Shay, stop stressing me out. <laughs> Tastes so good, y'all. All right, y'all. So I have sweetened it. It literally took the whole bag of sugar. So don't mind me. Um, so now it's sweet to my taste, sweet to my liking. And now I'm going to add the alcohol. So if you do not drink alcohol, like I said, your steps are done. You will just sweeten it and then put it in your container, let it chill, and that's it. You have your non-alcoholic sorrel. It still tastes good either way. Kids can drink it, or you could make, you know, um, take some out, put some for the kids, and then you could put your alcohol after and separate it. Either way, it doesn't matter. Sorrel, sorrel. Okay. So now, for the alcoholic people. <laughs> um, I do some, I know I'm open my left hand, uh, stolen ginger wine, period. I'm just gonna pour, like I said, make your ancestors guide you. Do not ask me when to stop. Wine, once again, pour, let your ancestors guide you. Don't ask me when to stop. Okay? Yeah. 63% style. Don't ask me when to stop. And when I taste it, and if I need more, I'm gonna add more. That's on period. We're about to get lit for the Christmas. <laughs> we about to get lit. Mm. Oh, you don't want to smell that, guys. So good. Oh my god. All right, y'all. So it's sweetened. All the alcohol is inside to my taste. The red label's finished. The rum's almost finished. And the this was a bigger batch than last year for sure. But it tastes so good. Ah, uh, when it's chilled. I don't want to tell you. I don't want to tell you. Um, so now I'm going to transfer it into my bottle using my funnel. So let's do this. Jeez, look at that. <laughs> filled so I'm going to cover it it's a lot of sorrow y'all but literally we drink so much <laughs> of it it's gonna be finished it's like a nightly thing for the month of December for us yeah so I don't think that we're not gonna finish this Ooh, baby look at that y'all look at that damn okay <laughs> the bottles that I got guys I made the biggest batch this year but we, last year we drank it off so quickly it was pointless so this is it this is it this is it we have sorrow for days well one bottle she's taking home so she has to choose which one um and then we just took some so we can drink right now for you guys but that's the finished product Dang, I have finally finished the sorrow it's bottled up ready to chill ready to drink for the entire festive season i'm talking december and into january because new year's day i'm still gonna be drinking this if it's not finished because i don't know sorrow makes me like a little mini alcoholic <laughs> the holidays makes me a mini alcoholic because it's cold it's freezing it's depressing it gets dark at five o'clock i just work and that's it so no i don't need to drink and then we drink on brown table talk too so you guys already know the vibe so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like literally, I hope you got the recipe, 
all the ingredients. I'm going to put the ingredients in the description so you can purchase it. But if you're a really odd, you already know what to buy anyways. But, you know, for those who stumble on the video or those who want to try to make it, um, very simple, very easy. If you follow the steps, you have the body sorrow for the holidays. Okay. So let's let's taste it. We had to put some ice to chill because obviously it hasn't been in the fridge yet. So we're gonna taste it. Here you go, baby. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, you could taste all the flavors. Ooh. You could taste the pimento. You could taste <laughs> the ginger. Huh? <laughs> you could taste um all the alcohol, the rum. Yeah, it's really good. Eating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Water? No. This is it. This is it. This is it. Bar to bar. Bar. This is the best drink you could ever make for yourself during the holidays, guys. Let me tell you. The best drink. It's so tasty. Like, I can't. Mm -mm. We even drink it with dinner. <laughs> <laughs> you already know the vibe. <laughs> yes, it's real. But, guys. Finish. Finito. It's done. Cheers, baby. Empty glass. Cheers. Um, but, guys. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Do not forget to drop a comment. Don't forget to share it up. Tell a friend to tell a friend that kisses and you know she <laughs> are on YouTube and it's lit. And I hope you're enjoying Vlogmas so far. We hope we can complete it for you guys. We're trying our best. If we don't complete, we'll still maybe go on live or drop a video. Whatever. We're trying to give you guys a video per day. So help us, guys. Help us. Um, and thank you so much for everyone who sent in, you know, um, the videos they'd like to see. The Sorrel video was one of the votes, so we hope you enjoyed it. And when you follow the recipe, comment down below, send us an Instagram, tag us, whatever you want to do. But thank you guys, and we'll see you in our next video tomorrow. Bye! <laughs> wow! Cheers! <laughs>